not walk out as champion. He won't. You think he gets no pinned? Way. Do I think he gets pinned? Here's what I think happens. This is this, this is one, it's one or two scenarios. I think Rollins somehow gets a fluky win, you know, something or whatever, where Brock gets distracted. You know, where Brock, like, you know, hits, hits some bad move or bounces off the ropes or hits his head on the, an exposed turnbuckle or something, and Rollins gets the win. Rollins needs to stop using the pedigree, though. That either that happens or, so, you know, he gets a fluky win like that, where Brock doesn't look, you know, weak in defeat. <laughs> or you have Triple H come out and attack Rollins while the referee is down, which builds to Triple H, Rollins, SummerSlam, if they decide to do that. Mm-hmm. Or, and this is the wild card. The yeah. No help at all. He's out. You know, Kane, Mercury, Noble are out. Um, you all of a sudden lights go. You know, Brock looks like he's going to beat uh, Rollins. F five lights go out. Um, or he's going to F five him on the uh, F five him on the um, table, something like that. Lights go out. Boom! You hear the table spot. Lights come back on, and it's Ambrose and Reigns standing by. Ooh, okay, okay. And you decide to do your shield reunion there. Okay. And the only reason that the only reason I thought that is, is a friend of mine, Jordan, that I talked to. He, um, I talked to him here and there. He lives in Cleveland. He suggested that, that not necessarily that spot, but, but the, the Shield reunion, only because Rollins doesn't have any help. How the hell is he going to beat Lesnar? Yeah. How are you going to beat a motivated two hundred eighty pound guy that could toss you around like crazy? Not that Rollins isn't good, but how are you going to do that? That's the only way I can see it. Or, and this is one that just popped into my head, um, F5 by, F, you know, a couple F5s by uh, Brock. One, let's pull that by And they do what they did to Survivor Series 2002. Oh, with Heyman Where, turning you know, on him? Yeah. Brock, yep, Heyman turned on him. That's all I can think of. Other than that, I don't know. I mean, what will you see happening? The Shield thing is interesting. I know some people were talking about that potentially happening, maybe a payback a couple months ago when they had that fatal four-way. Um, it makes kind of sense. I mean, I could see that in, in that, you know, Rollins needs help and he needs someone to help him beat Lesnar so he enlists the help of the Shield. The only thing is that Rollins has spent the last year feuding with both guys, Reigns and Ambrose, so it might not make much sense right now to reunite them. And I feel like right now is not no, the no. time to do it. You know, I feel like there's more money yep. to be made in Ambrose and Reigns as baby faces, but it's still a plausible scenario. And wait, I just remembered a scenario I came up with last night. Yeah, go ahead. No. All of a sudden, Shield is power Shield, you know Shield has power bombed, um or Shield triple power bombs, uh uh, Lesnar, one, two, three, ref comes back to life. Lights go out again. There's a shield standing over. Wyatt is standing there on his knees. Think about it. Wyatt always talked about wanting to bring down the machine. What better way than to reunite the shield to take down the authority? Ooh, that's true. That's true. I just thought about what better way by a little more momentum, a little more momentum that maybe this whole thing with Reigns was just a swerve. Even though it's been a good very loose guy in it, I very much doubt they will go that route. But I just thought, I'm like, you know, if Wyatt wants to take down that machine like he always talked about, you could lead to Wyatt versus Triple H at Mania 32. That you would be a nice nurture, match, yeah. You could nurture and build that. Somebody came up with a scenario that, like, okay, Triple H turns it's around SummerSlam. Uh, I think his Twitter handle's in vain hat stand, so I gotta give him credit for this, but <clears throat> talked about building it and building it where between Triple H and uh, Wyatt where Triple H will not face Wyatt. He will not face him, he feels he's done in the ring, this kind of stuff. But Triple H should be done in the ring soon, even though he can deliver a good match still. But you build and build and they kinda get around rumble time where Bray has a really good showing in the rumble, but doesn't win it, and keeps calling out Triple H. Triple H then gets to uh, where he's really getting frustrated and is going to do it, then decides not to break lays him in the ring. Next week, Triple H calls him out, and they have this Titan Tron thing, you know, where um, Bray is, like, talking, and it cuts back to this camera shot, 
and it's a uh, name over a bed. I don't names of over their beds of like the daughters. And then the next week, Triple H is like losing. Triple H says, "Okay, you want to face me? You say that's the week before me, or a couple weeks before Mania, or yeah. before Mania." Mm-hmm. Cut, cuts in. Triple H is like, "You know, saying, okay, you want to fight me? You're gonna get the three girls fast in the game, the King of Kings, all this stuff." So, uh, suddenly, three girls are singing. He's got the whole world in his hands, right on the stage, and it's Triple H's daughters. Ooh. I'm like, ooh, ooh, and I'm like, I read this, and I'm like getting goosebumps thinking about how good that would be. Like, damn, yeah, man, you thought this out good. <laughs> but that, that was, that's what I would do. But I would almost have, if, if, if I could have my way, I would say, lights go out, triple A, you know, or a triple power bomb by the shield. No, and then, one's covered as the rep comes back in. <laughs> and then lights go out again, and the Wyatt is staying in there with the shield on his knees, like over Brock. And then you could have Brock versus Wyatt at, you know, SummerSlam. You know, that, something like that. I mean, hey, it'd be a fresh match. Exactly. Like I was saying before, I feel like with John Cena too, Wyatt is another guy that doesn't have any more fresh faces to, to go up against. You know, I feel like Brock Lesnar versus Wyatt would be a kick-ass match too. It would be. It would, it would be unique because um, Wyatt doesn't move as I mean, not I mean, not that Brock does either, but Wyatt doesn't move like a lot of guys his size should be able to. Exactly, yeah. The guy's an amazing athlete. 